if you're a big fan of ramen, you know the old school oodles and noodles. Guys, these are a game changer. Zero point ramen. Yes, I said that correctly. Zero point ramen. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I made this zero point ramen soup. Oh my God. Hello friends and welcome to Arlene's Creations where every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I do a recipe that is Weight Watcher friendly on the purple plan, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Also, I do tips and tricks in the kitchen. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell, like my video and comment, you are entered in my monthly giveaway drawing. In my heated pan here, I have some chopped up chicken breast, which I seasoned with my own seasoning that I make. And it's just basically some Sazon and some garlic powder, onion powder, um, uh, parsley, dried parsley, salt, black pepper. So I'm just going to let this cook. Let me put this up a little bit more. Just want to get this cooked nice. You can actually put any meat in the soup if you want, if you wanted to grind up your chicken and make little tiny ground meatballs. If you wanted to do it with a beef, make a nice beef soup like they do in um, in the Chinese. I saw um, one of the Food Network channel, um, they had this big bowl with all the ramen in it and tons of vegetables and beautiful thin sliced beef. You can do it with thin sliced pork, but I want to keep this zero points for this lunch today. And so I'm just doing my chicken. So this is going to cook fairly quickly and it's going to continue to cook in the soup. So I'm just going to let this go and show you the next step. Okay, this looks like it's cooked quick, uh, cooked enough. I'm just going to take one egg and scramble it. Plop this in here. Oop, almost lost it. I'm gonna let that cook. I can't believe that I stumbled upon these ramen noodles. When I tell you, when I was going to school, high school, uh, like that would be my go-to meal. As soon as I get got home from school, I would open up a, ca uh, a bag of um, oodles or noodles or the cup of soup, and that was my go-to meal. I'm telling you, I love ramen soup. So all that is nicely cooked now. Now in the same pan, because I really didn't brown the chicken, so there's no browning going on down there. I'm going to add about two cups of water. Now I've been looking at uh, several different types of bouillon lately, and I do notice that the Nor bouillon does have points, depending on how much you use. I found this Goya bouillon chicken and I put in two packets and it's zero points. So if you really want to make your nice little ramen dish here and you want that chickeny flavor. Now, before I go further, I'm, I'm going to add one packet and see if that's enough. If not, I'll just keep adding it until I get that chicken flavor that I want. I am eating this as a soup, but once you cook your ramen in here, you can actually drain out the juice and eat it like a, you know, like a, like a noodle bowl. So you could do it either way. I'm choosing, because you know me, I'm a superholic. 
So I'm just going to add one packet of my Goya chicken bouillon. Let that melt in. That should be enough one packet. This is kind of strong, this stuff. I'm also going to grab a couple of carrots, little baby carrots, out of my fridge. Guys, this is so fast and easy. If you already have some grilled chicken made, just chop it up, put it in a pan or a bowl, I mean a pot, um, uh, add some scrambled egg, add your chicken bouillon, grate up some carrot in it, and then I'm going to add the ramen noodles. And you're going to see how fast this all comes together. It's absolutely delicious. And I am just so thrilled that I can have ramen noodles for zero points. You don't even know how the, this makes my life happy. Because I'm happy. I'm so happy. All right, while I'm grading this, I wanted to give a shout out to Pam Causey. So Pam, if you're watching at the moment, I did get your question. I looked tire tirelessly. <laughs> last night for that video with the um, mozzarella stick, which I believe is one point. I believe it. you said it had spinach, like in a wrap or something. And I just couldn't find what video it was in either. So I didn't give up. I'm going to continue to look for you. And as soon as I can find it, it might have been in what I eat in a day video. I'm not too sure. I have so many videos up, I really forget what the heck I do half the time. So, yeah, so I'm going to continue to look for you. And as soon as I can find it, if I ever find it, I will uh, give a shout out to you and I'll put it in the description box. Or where, where you ask the question, I'll just answer you right there. That's the easiest way. And once again, I have no takers on my um, gift, my giveaway. So I'm going to uh, just check my email one more time before I'm done with this video. And if I do not see the email from the second person who won, I'm going to be pulling another name today. So you want to stay tuned for that, guys. Because you never know, you could be the winner. All right, so we have some carrot in here, the scrambled eggs, the chicken bouillon, and the chicken. It's already looking delish. Mm. So that was about two cups of water to that one packet, and it tastes delicious. So now, here is my ramen rice. Rice ramen, I should say, and it's the millet and the brown. Millet and brown rice ramen. But... Now, if you see what it says on here, it says red miso soup. You do not want to use that packet to, to make your soup. If you want to, you can, but it's four points. If you just use the noodles, it's zero points. So if you're going to order these from lotusfoods.com, I'll put the link in the description box below. If you're going to order these, then don't order the soup. Just order the brick of the ramen noodles. Because when I got it and I scanned it, it said four points. So I'm like, how the heck is this four points? It's supposed to be zero points. And then when I looked it up, I said, oh my God, because it's the soup. So you see you have the soup packet here, which is what you would add to make your red miso soup with your ramen and just the water, like a regular uh, ramen soup packet. But we don't want that. So I'll keep this in my drawer. You never know what I might use it for, but it is four points just for that. So now I have two ways of eating ramen. You're going to think I'm nuts. I actually, sometimes I'm in the mood and I just want to crunch it up into tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces and eat it with a spoon. And then other times, I want to just put the whole brick in and let it cook and eat it with chopsticks, the noodles, and then just sip the broth. So today, I'm just going to put in the whole entire brick. 
And we're going to let this cook. I'm going to put this on low. Once it starts to break up. And it looks and feels just like the real ramen. I can't get over it. Super stoked. And my wheels are spinning on what to do with my other two bricks of ramen. Like a nice, just, you know, like no soup and just tons of vegetables. Like, see the picture on there? Like, tell me that doesn't look delicious. You can do this and use, you put shrimp in it. See, I'm not a seafood person, so no shrimp here. But you can do the noodles with shrimp and some uh, low salt soy sauce without the juice. Just cook the ramen on the side with ch the Chinese vegetables. So many things you can do with these. So excited I found these. And I hope you guys are too because if you love ramen like me, these are a game changer. Zero points, my friends. Already breaking up. I'm going to let this go until they cook and then I'm going to show you how I serve it up. I'm going to get my bucket and we're going to call another winner. Alrighty. So my delicious soup is done. Just going to pour it in this big old bowl here. God, it smells so good. If you like mushrooms, you could put mushrooms in your soup. You could put some peas. Frozen peas are always good. In a soup like this, look at this, you guys. Zero point ramen soup. So excited. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. And the last little touch for my delicious soup. It's going to be some nice fresh green scallion chopped. Can't have, you cannot, cannot have... Oh, there's Sparky acting up. You cannot have ramen without some scallion. Can't have ramen without some scallion. Guys, do I seem like I'm excited about this? You bet your petunias I am. Delicious. Look at that. The egg, the carrot, the scallion, the chicken broth, the ramen. Oh my God, I'm in heaven. I am in heaven. So good. All right, guys. Now it is time to pull another winner. All right, so this camera's at a very weird angle. Sorry, I am not looking. I am not looking. I am mixing. I am mixing. And for the third time, Barb McAfee, you are the winner. So, Barb. The email's gonna be in the description box. Please, please, please email me your address so I can get your prize out to you. So, third time's a charm. Hopefully, Barb McAfee sees this video and she will get her prize. All right, so now, wow, that's hot. I had it on the, on the stove. So now, back to my soup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please go out and order this. If you're a ramen freak like I am, you are really, really going to enjoy it. I promise you. And also, if you're new here, please hit that subscription button. Please feel free to share my video with your friends, with your families, with people in your Weight Watchers groups, however you would like. I'm really trying to get my subscribers to 10,000. I think I'm at like 7,300, so that would help me out greatly. I am so happy I could pass on my zero-point find with you today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, of course, as usual. And everybody have a great weekend. Again, Barbara McAfee, congratulations. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm going to get to eating because this soup is so delish. Bye-bye now.